Hey, what's going on guys? Based on the title, you probably already guessed it. I got some new toys. And the thing that I got is a new bench. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But I did get a new uh, flat bench from Rep Fitness just because the last bench I had was a little bit uneven. I did send them a message and they were able to they were able to compensate me for it. They told me just to bring in the old one and basically switch out for a new one. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, well, I obviously haven't made a video in two weeks, so this is gonna be a little bit rusty for me. I'm gonna be talking about the flat bench that I rep, as well as a new piece of equipment that I just picked up and finished assembly. If you follow me on Instagram, then you probably already know what it is. But just real quick, I just wanna talk about the rep FB5000, which is the competition flat bench that I have right here. So, if you saw it a couple videos ago, I actually had some issues regarding the previous bench. The welding was just off a little bit, which meant it was just a little bit crooked on the top end where my lats and shoulders are basically. I contacted a rep, they got back to me really quickly, and we were able to work out a solution. Obviously, if you have a crooked bench or anything like that, the first things that you would want to double check to see is if you were the one who caused it. Rep sent me a list of solutions to troubleshoot before I went into basically the last resort of having to swap out the bench. So basically, they told me to, first of all, take the bench apart, uh, measure the floor to see if my floor is even. I am in a basement, so there are certain spots that are not even, which is the, the cracks where the, I guess the floor, I'm not sure what you call them, but they're like little cracks where, I'm not sure if you can see that one right there. There's one right over there. Um, it's from where one section of the floor meets another section of floor. So I went to a hardware store, got myself a little leveler, double checked the floor, the floor was good. Double checked, uh, the second measure was to take it apart and put it back together to see maybe I tightened one bolt too tight compared to the other bolts. Um, did that, didn't work as well. And then the final solution was to measure the, the metal, basically all the welding. And when I did, there was a little strip, a little T-strip, I guess, on the back, which supports the bench press. And that was the section that was uneven. After contacting one of the, the reps, customer service representative, I believe her name was Holly, we were able to come to a compromise that, hey, I just bring in the old bench and they'll send me, uh, and I can swap it out for a new one. I got lucky, I live in Colorado, rep is in Colorado, so I had to drive around 35 minutes to go to downtown Denver, swap out the bench, and just basically build myself a new bench. I've noticed there is a couple of minor cosmetic differences. First of all, rep has their logo now on the, on the pad itself. I believe before the rep logo was, is, was only ever on the, the fat pad or the white pad. It was the 16 inch one, I believe. I'm just kind of pulling out, pulling numbers from the top of my head at this point. But I believe that they changed the pad for sure. The pad does feel a little bit less grippy than the original one I had. And that the cushion, like the, whatever the material's made of, it also feels a little different. This one feels a lot more firm, which is probably better uh, for my safety when I really, like, when it comes to lifting heavy but it just does feel a little bit different compared to the first uh, FB5000 I had. The last thing that I noticed was that there was, actually there's a couple more things I noticed. Another couple things I noticed was the fact that there is also a metal plate welded right up. I think it's welded. I don't know what you call that, but there's, the rep logo is now here. Before it was actually just a spray on logo and this makes it look like it's a lot more expensive of a bench. This bench is only a couple, I think I believe it's like $160, $180 um, without shipping with and tax. And it's an amazing bench. I've loved this, I've loved the, this bench compared to any other bench that I've used before, especially the commercial gyms. It fits me as a individual perfectly. I'm not the biggest person. I'm 5'9", 100 and ranging from 145 pounds to 155 pounds. And it fits me comfortably. But overall, this bench is a really solid bench. Um, the second one that came in, there, the welding is not the most cosmetically pleasing. I don't believe it affects any, any of the structural soundness of the bench itself. It's just a couple, couple of the weldings right over here where my feet would go, but I'm not gonna be looking down there anyways. But overall, 
there is a huge supply and demand for gym equipment right now, so I understand if the quality is not there. And if anything, you can always contact Rep. They, they were amazing working with me. I bought a bench back in March, and it's Thanksgiving was the other was yesterday, and I got this. I got my uh, new FB 5000 in two weeks ago. So I've had the, I've had the other bench for a while, and they were very understanding of it. Grant to take it with everything with a grain of salt. I'm not sure if they're gonna be as understanding with you, but thank you, Rep, for being so understanding. To get to the new, the actual new toy that I got, I got a adjustable, adjustable bench. And, you know, no big surprise here, I also got it from Rep Fitness. Just because, like I said, I live in Colorado, Rep Fitness is based in Denver, and I don't have to pay for shipping when it comes to buying from Rep. I just have to place an order, set up a t uh, date and time, drive my car and go pick it up. The assembly of this bench was actually very easy. There was only three or four parts that you had to put together. Uh, two of the parts that you had to put together was the, obviously you had to put together the foam, the foam back and the foam seat, so that's one, two. Third part is that there is a pillar on the very back where you, when you put the seats down, it catches the seat so it doesn't go into a, uh, a decline. I'm not sure, I'm kind of thinking about it. If I take it off, if it'll let me do decline bench. And the fourth part that you have to put together is would just be the wheels. And for the most part, the assembly was very easy. I think it took me a total of maybe 20 to 30 minutes and I wasn't really trying to do it at the fast, like fastest pace. I ran up, I had to run upstairs to get my uh, my ret, uh, my wrench, and everything like that. So it took a little bit. I took it was very leisurely, I guess you would say. Um, I'm pretty sure if you're an expert at building equipment, you can probably finish this in five, ten minutes. Rep provides basically everything you need. There's two long screws. There's five short screws, and it also provides two ti uh, for tightening tools. They provide two of them. So for one of the parts, you have to hold one side, one of the bolts down while you tighten the other side, or well, one of the nuts down, you tighten the bolt. Uh, I got lucky, I have actual tools at my house for it, so it kind of worked out for me. I originally saw it on my friend Mohammed's channel, so if you want a uh, somebody who knows who they're talking about when it comes to reviewing gym equipment, I'm gonna leave his link there. I'm kind of just winging it right now. He knew a lot more about the bench than I did. The I tried, I tried using the adjustable bench for the warm-up my flat bench to see if it was an alternative that people can buy so that they don't have to get both a flat bench and a uh, adjustable bench so what I've noticed especially if you're gonna be a taller person I'm not tall I'm pretty short um, was my butt was touching the the crack where the the seat pad and the back pad met so the area where the bolt lets you adjust the bench up and down that part my butt was just slightly above it so for somebody who doesn't arch as much as I do or for somebody who's especially somebody who's taller your butt I'm pretty sure will be in that crack and it's very uncomfortable even though I was just barely hovering in that area it was already super uncomfortable so if you're fine with it and you're really on a budget and you're a shorter person I guess like below 5'9", five 5'8", five ish um, this would be a suitable bench for using flat bench and incline on. However, if you're a little bit taller, this might not be smart <laughs> for you to use it as a, just as, as, a, as a normal flat bench. That being said, it's very sturdy. I didn't feel any wobble at all when I was uh, doing my warm-ups. It's just as sturdy as a competition bench. Uh, when I did change it into the incline position to do incline bench, I did feel a little bit of a wobble. And that being said, I think it's just because I'm also super wobbly right now. I haven't done incline bench since March, probably before since February. So my body's probably just not used to it. My stabilizer muscles for that movement isn't as activated. They probably atrophied a little bit. Uh, that being said, it's still pretty stable. It's just a slight wobble. The only gripe that I have is that on the seat, 
This is actually not, this is a higher than it's supposed to go. So the high as it goes technically would be there. And I'm, like I said, I'm kind of a shorter person. Um, I also like when I bench incline to have the seat higher up. Um, but there's only three levels that you can go to. So you just the normal level when it's flat, slightly higher maybe if you're doing some dumbbell work. And then third, if you still want to do it like for, uh, I guess you would do the incline. But there's also a little lip here. I don't think it's recommended. It's very, it's very slight. Um, but you can put it up to like a little bit above that and you can get an extra inch, maybe inch and a half. Um, that's my only gripe on it. If it was, uh, if there wasn't even a fourth, maybe a fifth setting for how tall it would go, this would be an amazing bench. And this would be an amazing uh, incline bench for sure. But just because it only goes up uh, ever so slightly, it doesn't feel super comfortable to me when I do bench. Granted that the only time I've actually benched on an incline bench was at a commercial gym. So uh, I'm pretty sure the more I bench on this, the more I will like it. But that's probably it for this video. It's a little bit different than what I usually do. Um, if you want me to review anything else in my gym, such as this rack, uh, the plates, the GHG that I don't really use all that much, or even my deadlift platform that I've made uh, months back, I'll do it. That being said, if you have any other questions, leave it in the comments. Please check out my friend Mohammed's channel because he was the re uh, he's the reason that I actually bought this specific bench. Um, I was able to check it out at his gym before I even bought it myself. That being said, uh, hopefully everybody stays safe. Uh, keep getting gains and I'll see you guys next time.